Hello everybody and welcome to a quick start tutorial for TT Server Maker. Uh, in this video I will be showing you how to quickly get your own server up and running. If you still need to install this program, please refer to the previous detailed tutorial where I will teach you how to get it. Other than that, to start, you can see I have some of my own servers already here. Uh, to make your own, just click the plus button. Give your server a name. For now, we'll name ours test. Um, I will only be coloring van coloring, sorry. I will only be covering vanilla today. Uh, just click done. It will add it to your list and just click this little launch button. After that, you can see you get your main settings. I'm just going to go through a qu few quick things. Uh, so you don't really need to touch any of these things here, but um, with your RAM, please refer to the previous video. Uh, to see how much you should put into it, or if you already know, just go ahead and select it. I'm going to go with 2 gigabytes for now, which is 2,048 megabytes. Uh, for this, which is known as a, well, I guess it just says Minecraft server there, this is your MOTD, or the message that will show up on your server before you join. For now, we're just going to put hi and a smiley face. Um, Next, for view distance, I recommend 8 or 12. For right now, I'm going to leave it on 12. And uh, you want to normally just leave it these like this. Um, next, for your icons, if you have one, it needs to be 64 by 64 pixels in the PNG format. Or, if you don't have one, you can uh, use the Get Icon button. And you can go through these preloaded ones. Uh, these will load a little slowly for me, but... Uh, we'll just go with the command block for now. There are many more in this list. There's a lot here. There's some in faces, items, and random. So for right now, we're going to go with command block and just click select. Uh, if you're browsing for an icon, you can just go to where it is. For instance, this is the icon for another server I have. Uh, it doesn't need to be named right. It just needs to be in the PNG format and of the dimension 64 by 64. So, onto the next page for map. If you have a world already, you can click import and select the correct file. Um, if not, you can create a new one. So, we'll just name this test world. You can choose one of these two. I normally leave it at the highest for your build height. That's how many blocks from bedrock you can build upward. We're going to make it a super flat, which allows us to use the presets button. You can choose from the ones that are already in Minecraft. So, we're going to go with overworld. Or, once you select, you can choose your own settings if you know how to do that. For spawn protection, this is a radius of how many blocks a normal person will not be able to place or break anything in. I normally leave that off. If you have a lobby server or something similar, you can leave that on. Max world size, you don't want to touch that normally. Hardcore mode, if you don't know what that is, just uh, look it up or refer to Minecraft. Uh, we're going to turn generate structures off because we don't want villages, allow another, yes. And um, that's pretty much all you need for this page. Or you can change your difficulty. We're going to say peaceful and creative. And force game mode, that just means whenever someone joins, they will be put in that game mode no matter what. In players, we're going to choose, this is just how many people can join. I'm going to say 10. And for allow PvP, this is just whether or not people can hurt each other in survival mode. We'll turn that off. Uh, if you want to know what whitelist is, refer to my other video, and um, you can do the same if you want to know more about op permission levels. Uh, normally you're going to want to op yourself, so just do these steps and put your name in, whatever your name is, and then click op. You can close out of this window, and now we can move on to advanced. I'm not going to touch anything here except snooper. I turn that off because it seems to lag my server a little bit more. If you need to open where this server is specifically, just click that button and it will take you to this page where it is saved. Next, you can go to Premium. If you haven't signed up for Premium already, you can get it. It's very easy, it's very simple. I recommend donating, however, if you can't, you can also get a Premium key for free. This is, um, when you get Premium, it will open up certain options um, that aren't normally there already. So now, we're going to click Start. And we can choose from snapshots or official releases, and you can choose any release, even all the way down to when servers were first enabled. I'm going to stick with the current release of official, and I'm going to download and start. I will be back with you as soon as this is done downloading.
Alright, this is just about finished, and it should be done right about now. Uh, once this is finished downloading, just click OK. This will bring up the End User License Agreement, otherwise known as EULA. You just has to have to accept this to be able to use your server and run the program. Uh, you don't need to read through this, however, if you do want to, that's up to you. Uh, it's a fairly long list of things, but it can tell you certain things about maybe any questions you have, or if you're running a public server, or something like that. You can look through this if you have any concerns. Uh, just click I accept if you want to continue. And it will now start your server based on what you have chosen. There are more things within these tabs, and you can check those out in my other video. For now, as you can see, it has loaded up all of the server files so far, and it's creating our world. As soon as this is done, I will meet you back in Minecraft, and I will show you how this works, and to prove to you that this is my own server actually running. So I will meet you right back in Minecraft. Okay, I am back with you here in Minecraft, and uh, as you can see, this is normal 1.8. And uh, to start with your server, all you need to do is go to Multiplayer. Uh, as you can see here, my server is not currently on the list, so all I need to do, or you as well, add server, and you can name it whatever you'd like. For right now, we're just going to say My Server. Uh, for the server address, you can refer to the program, which there will be, uh, you will see in the corner. You can click Information. And you can go from there and click local IP, or just click the copy button next to that. That will copy it for you, and then you can return to your console and shrink that back down. Now, you're just going to paste that with Control v on a Windows. Uh, it doesn't seem to be pasting, so I guess I'm going to have to copy that manually. Uh okay, after you have that put in, you can just click done and this will find your server for you. Um, as I always do, I'm going to put my server at the top of the list and uh, you can see there's our message and our icon. You can see it also has the same amount of players so when we join you will be able to see that in the console it says we're joining as soon as it actually lets us in. So as you can see right here we have move around in the game in a normal uh, Minecraft world, but we it should only be something and it should be too, uh, too much different. Okay, well anyway, uh, moving on from that. You can see I can pl uh, place and break blocks like a normal person, and um, anything other than that you can uh, normally do. If you can do it in single player, you can normally do it here, and since I'm opt, I also have commands such as, whoops, uh, time set night, or weather clear. Not that it was raining, but uh, you have access to those only if you are opt, but you can continue to play Minecraft as you normally would, even in a server. And uh, this is your own server, and you can customize it to your heart's content. So I will see you all in another video, and we can say goodbye to this little floating bush.